guess what guys it is update time on yoda as well it's been about exactly a year since i had modified auto uh put in the the big the 10 inch and the amplifier under the passenger seat they did that here a year ago and today we are making some more changes there's the uh, new deck that just went in and it is time to update these crummy speakers so we got those ones out here is the slot for the new one we are also going to utilize the uh, tweeter hole up here you can see it over there right there it's just not being used in the rv uh, stock so we're gonna have a, a mid speaker here and then a, a high treble speaker here as well just to help the sound get a little more crisp and these are the rockford fosgate speakers they go in the door and the new tweeters. You just making yourself comfortable there, Jax? Is that, is that your spot? Okay, man. I'll let you know when the RV is done. <laughs> Woo, warm day. I think I found a use for the kit 15 to 45 millimeter lens. It's going to be on days when I take the motorcycle out to explore because this one is so much smaller that I can fit the camera, the microphone, the tripod, and the lens in my tank bag and not have to wear a backpack. So let's go explore around East Alton. I know I've been here before, but there's stuff I have not seen in this area. Well, here we are, uh, downtown uh, Alton. A lot of bikes out here. It's a nice uh, day. You got the river over there, and that is Missouri on the other side of that river right there. So St. Louis is right over there, and we're in Illinois. And when I was here last time, right down here is the old, old torture museum which has been renamed in the last year and now it's the curiosity museum but still i think it'd be fun to check it out so we'll go pay admission and i'll bring you guys in there if you're allowed there it is let's go check it out They've got $50,000 cash here on display. I'm surprised that's still here. Is it bolted? Yeah, it's bolted. Nikola Tesla's anti-gravity gumball machine. I do not have any quarters on me. Pick this lock and win a free bumper sticker. Oh, a lock picking set, huh? I swear I've never done this before. There's my sticker I got for opening the lock. I saw weird stuff, Curiosity Museum. Oh yeah. There's a chair they tied you to and then threw you in the water. Okay. Back in the old days, they'd also put you in a barrel. Whew. Now we're more into the torture device section of the museum. The brink. Lovely. The head crusher. Are you kidding me? That's just gruesome. Look at that collar. Death by a Thousand Cuts, The Elephant Executioner, <laughs> Torture Using Insects, The Cat's Paw as a Torture Device, that's it, it's like a gardening tool, The Jug, where they just tie you to a post out in the field, alright this one they strap you in in a seating position, and then that blade comes out right there into the back of your skull. Uh, this is one of those stretcher things where they stretch you to death. This one is rat torture. Gosh. We should be thankful for prisons today. Hey, harsh back then. The giblet. Locked in a cage. And of course the witches. Yeah. Burn them at the stake. Pretty quirky place. Wish uh, had some air conditioning. Got it all hooked up, guys. The uh, shop just closed about an hour ago. And again, thank you, Sean and Modified Auto, for uh, letting me safely park the RV here in East Alton for the time being. So everything's put in, although there's nothing really to show because everything still looks stock. But there's a speaker up here now, as well as the new, bigger, badder speaker in there. 
Um, and I can't really show you what it sounds like because as you all know, YouTube doesn't really show you what I'm hearing in, in the video. You know, you're probably watching from your phone and your laptop. All you're gonna hear is distorted sounding weird bass. So, tends to not work, but just take my word for it. This sounds fantastic, fantastic stereo. The only thing I may do is next year when I come back through, I may have the guys uh, swap out my sub amp and maybe do some kind of a four or five channel so that I can amplify the door speakers as well as the sub. But that's uh, that's later down the road. Right now, this is this is just way better than I ever thought I would have in an RV. I'm pretty sure that nobody in an RV has a sound system this awesome. So. Awesome killer sauce. Um, yeah. Sometimes I just need that break myself. I do. Uh, and it's, it's worked really, really well. This is going to be the first full summer I have spent away from home. My home state, at least. Uh, there have been years where I've spent a couple weeks in the summertime, but never spent the entire summer away. So I'm really interested to see what happens when I get to like Maine and the coast, the Atlantic Ocean and stuff, and how that compares to uh, the west half of Washington State where I'm from in the summer. Because right now, like th this would be this would be breaking records in the heat of summer back home. <sighs> it's all good. Hey, I'm happy about it. That uh, I'm gonna hang out with Jax and we're gonna watch some some shows, and then I'll uh, cut back in in the morning when we get ready for this barbecue. Oh, it's a warm day. Today's the day though. I had a great time here at the shop with the buddies here. Uh, we ate good, my belly stuffed, and uh, I got a lot of projects done here in East Alton, Illinois on this little trip here. A lot of projects. So, you know, the RV is tip-top shape. Uh, man, there's something I want to say, but uh, uh, somebody tried, attempted, two people attempted to steal my motorcycle last night and uh, were unsuccessful. <laughs> they even scoped out and tried to look into the tinted windows of my RV to see if anybody was in the RV before then attempting to move the bike when the alarm went off and they scattered. Uh, so I still have the motorcycle. That's a good thing. I knew there would be random attempts and they were gonna fail. I just knew that was gonna happen. That's some... <laughs> anyway, not a negative thing I'm sharing with you, just uh, Luckily, uh, some good news and stuff. But. All right, guys, heading out. Thanks so much for the help. Yeah. See you next time. Gary, thanks for everything, buddy. No we'll problem. catch you next time, buddy. All right, bye-bye. You too. All righty, I'm all unhooked. It's time to go inside and uh, settle up and say goodbye. All right, ready to go. Sean, really appreciate everything. Th thanks so much for letting me stay here, buddy. Oh, brother, you're always welcome, man. Anytime you're, you're through, you're, you're, you're welcome. Close appreciate spot. it, man. You want to tell the people uh, where, where you're at here with the shop? Yeah, we're here in East Alton, Illinois. We're named Modified Auto Sound. Uh, we're located at 165 East St. Louis Avenue, and that's in East Alton, Illinois. We're about uh, 15 minutes away from downtown St. Louis, and uh, you can reach us at 618-251-8255. Yeah, they do remote starts, window tinting, car audio and stereo, uh, alarms, all that. They got a new uh, detailing service here available at the shop, too, so check them out if you're in the area. Yeah, we're not afraid to work on RVs either, guys. You take checks? Uh, absolutely, buddy, from you. Awesome, awesome. Let me fill this out for you. 
Go, buddy. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. All righty, bud. Hey, what, hey, wait a minute, bud. Hey, you signed this Mickey Sounds Mouse. Good. Sounds good. See you next time. What? Audio installation specialists and window tenters are this nation's backbone.